Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we are doing a vlog and we are getting my closet back in working order. I feel like it's been about a month or a month and a half since I last reorganized, refolded, and just cleaned up the space. And so now, as you will see in a moment, it is a little bit of a disaster in my eyes, of course. This is all on my own opinion. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do a little vlog and share with you guys how I kind of go through, reorganize things, and look for things to declutter as well because I feel like it's a great opportunity to ask myself if I actually need the items that I am reorganizing. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to bring you with me and share the whole process, so keep watching. Before we get started, I have to do my whole morning routine. A lot of you have been asking me, especially on Instagram, what my morning routine is and I think I briefly showed you guys in a previous vlog but I will be doing a morning and night routine video sometime soon this summer I don't know when but I wanted to show you guys these pajamas that I got I thrifted them for 40 bucks as a set and it's this really nice um, cotton kind of like a gauze material I don't know why it's not focusing there we go and I love the pattern it's super neutral and it was in perfect condition seems to fit me pretty well so I was super happy with this find and they're also very comfortable and breathable which is perfect for summer so I'm gonna do my morning routine and then I will see you guys in a bit okay did an outfit change I'm back in comfy clothes and I actually ended up shooting something before I started vlogging again but now I'm ready to do some organization and I decided I'm also going to organize this cabinet with you guys because there's a lot of crap in there that I just don't need, I don't use and it's just sitting there so I'm going to show you guys what everything looks like right now and then we will jump into the organization. Okay, so starting with the closet, as you can see, it's not too bad, but that's because I have bins and all those things. This drawer always opens up. I don't know why, but it just, it doesn't look tidy. Like, I throw my pajamas there. I've got my laundry basket. I'm missing a hanger, so I have my jeans sitting there, and I feel like it could look so much better. This is about a month or a month and a half after I um, organized my closet. So I feel like I'm just gonna do a clear out. I'm gonna pull these bins out, look through them, see if there's anything that I can sell or declutter and then I will tidy up the rest of it. Now when it comes to my best a cabinet, this one is also a bit of a disaster. Um, my hair bin is not really working out and this area here has a whole bunch of stuff. I tried to put my masks in this, but it just, it doesn't fit. <laughs> and then this side, as you can see, it's just a disaster. This stuff, I think I can go through and get rid of a significant amount of items just because a lot of it is junk, so I'm gonna do that. But that's basically what we're doing today, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we are starting out with the drawers. They had so much stuff. Don't mind the lawnmower outside, my brother's mowing the lawn. But um, I had all of this stuff just kind of shoved into the drawers, and I feel like that typically happens in everybody's drawers because over time you get lazy, you don't fold things, you're in a rush, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go through it, pull the items that I know I haven't been wearing, oh, which just got really dark, and then make a separate pile of those to post on Poshmark. I will link my account down below for you Canadians on here. And then I'm just gonna put everything else back in, in a freshly folded state. Okay, update. So I was able to decrease the amount of bodysuits that I have. I think I got rid of two different pieces. 
and so I was able to fit my like plain t-shirts there's one little turtleneck sweater in here and so this is definitely more consolidated which is nice and then I'm keeping these pieces these are gonna go into my sweaters pile I will stack these ones vertically like this the jeans that I am keeping are going to be here and I've decided not to hang these guys I'll just keep them in the drawer since I'm not really using them right now I have all of my shorts that I'm keeping here as well as my sweatpants and this is my giveaway pile so I will be posting these on my Poshmark probably tomorrow and then I also separated pieces that I think should be hung up so these are t-shirts that wrinkle pretty easily as well as my cardigan that I use at home and for going out and then one pair of shorts that I need to get hemmed so that's pretty much the update of my drawer situation and now I'm gonna put stuff back and move on to the hanging racks. Okay, so I am left with this many extra hangers. There were a couple of strays inside of this rack, but I tried to organize this based on color just so that it's easier for me to find things. I know it looks like I have a lot of white button-ups, and I know I do, but I literally wear them all for different purposes. And so, yeah, that's my one thing that I wear multiples of. And then I've organized it into dresses, so I've got some that are hanging here, as well as slip dresses, and then just like summery dresses here. Um, I've got a cardigan here and then some jumpsuits at the back and my more formal pieces as well So overall, I think it's much more organized I feel good about it and I'm gonna move on to this little section here It doesn't need too much work because it's just pants, but I will just organize it into the proper colors guys have seen these things before but it's basically like a pants hanger I use it for my shorts because that rack is super short and I'm just gonna go by color and just kind of go up darks so I've got this pair of shorts that I still need to get hemmed but in the meantime I will hang it on this guy and I feel like it just makes it so much easier to actually store shorts because obviously they can be really bulky if you give them each their own hanger and in this sense they're just hanging vertically so they don't take up too much space and yeah it's just super handy saves space and they're easy to grab okay we're looking pretty good very organized and now I'm gonna move on to these bins I have quite a bit of space in this little basket here that I keep my purses in and I also have purses in this bin right here so I'm gonna go through that and just kind of move them down and then I don't know I'll just figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of them this stuff over here I'm also gonna do just tidy it up a little bit but I feel like for the most part I am almost done with the closet okay I just wanted to show you how I'm organizing my swimsuits because summer is right around the corner these are my bikinis I keep them in these little plastic cases just because they are obviously really tiny pieces you can't really fold them and then I've got my one pieces just vertically stored and then a little swim cover down below but I feel like this is a super easy way to see everything that I have Hopefully it will stay like this, but I don't know, it's swimwear. Usually I just chuck stuff in and grab it, but this one is gonna go up at the top, and I've reorganized some of these pieces. I was able to get all of my bags into that basket, so now I actually have an extra bin, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put my masks in here, but I also feel like it's just way too big for the masks, so I might put a little divider and 
I don't know, store something else in here. We'll see. We're, we're going through the process, but I think I'm going to move on to this cabinet now and just figure out what I can get rid of. I kind of went into a zone and just started going through all my stuff and it was a super long process So I didn't want to film the whole thing, but I'm going to show you guys now what the final result is So on this side, I moved quite a bit of stuff around this situation I'm not so sure about but for this area This is like my everyday skincare and then my makeup and I've finally been able to put this down horizontally because that's kind of how the products are laying down and I had it vertically before and everything would kind of fall to the bottom of the bag so I'm happy about that and then in here I have all of my gel nail supplies and tools so it's all really nice and consolidated in there and then this is my hair stuff so I couldn't quite figure out how to properly store this so I've put my big brush here along with my hair straightener and that will work for now. In this one, I've got my masks and then I'm also gonna use this kind of as my content creation, like new product drop. So I'm just gonna like split it in half. I don't typically have a lot of products anyway since I've kind of lowered the amount of stuff I'm receiving. This is my random little corner and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I don't wanna have this out on my uh countertop anymore because I've got so much stuff going on here. So we're keeping it there for now. Moving on to the other side, I've got all of the stuff that I actually use and I'm going to show you guys in a minute exactly what I got rid of. But basically I've got my tanning stuff at the back. I have all of my moisturizers over here and then I've got some body stuff, my toner, my deodorants, and then a little bit of like medical stuff. And then on this side, I've got hair products, extra backstock products in the back there, masks, hair oil, and then little lippy products, and uh, like my ring cleaner, just random little things here. On the bottom, I was able to put all of my tech stuff together. I'm also selling a bunch of tech stuff, so check out my Poshmark if you're interested. And then this is something that I am pretty excited about. So I had this extra piece here, and I decided to see if it would fit on top of this bin, which kind of is a double storage solution. So I have all of my office stuff, um, my lighters and all of that. And then underneath, I was able to put some of my extra perfumes that don't fit on this tray they're also not the same color obviously and then some back stock items as well as some extra containers because I can always use those depending on what the decor in my room is so overall I'm really happy with it I feel like this will last a long time because it's very practical for me and let's move on to the closet okay so in the closet the first thing you'll notice is that I cleared up this area here the perfumes used to be here in a little gold tray which I am now getting rid of so so I put some candles in here because it just makes the whole closet smell really nice and then I've got my ring box up here I like to store it in there and then just my regular jewelry and uh, the other thing that I did here was I actually put my bookends to use one of these was just sitting here not being used so I thought I would move that around and I'm really happy with how they look I'm excited to use these in our new condo soon because I just love the beautiful marble and that's pretty much it. Everything else I already showed you, so this is the final result. Now let's take a look at the stuff that I am getting rid of and selling. I pulled down these prints from the top of my uh, closet up there because I was keeping them 
for maybe using them in our future condo, but I feel like I just kind of want to start fresh when we move in, so I'm going to sell those. I'm selling my Saint Laurent envelope clutch, and that's because I just haven't been using it as much as I thought I would. I've got a dress that I've sold, some other pieces of clothing that I will sell as well, and then I've also got some techie stuff and like headbands that I never use. I also have some skincare and hair products, so I will be selling the hair products. Some of them are brand new way stuff, and then I also have some jewelry and this mirror that I thought I would use, haven't used it, as well as this little tray which my perfumes were on so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow I will be posting all of these items and by the time you're watching this I hope they will be up on my Poshmark so there you have it my friends that was my little mini organization session I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful maybe you found some storage solutions that you haven't tried yet if you did feel free to comment them down below or if you see any part of my closet or that cabinet where you think I could do something differently to optimize the storage, let me know. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. I do post every Monday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.